Let's talk about the console version of Sunday Rivals. You might remember last fall, uh, I was able to get the game up and running on a console dev kit, which was really cool for like a few minutes until the game crashed, but uh, I was emboldened by that progress and decided, okay, we'll do one more Steam update to get the game to a definitive console ready state and then freeze Steam development while I worked on the port. Uh, ultimately, that turned into about three months of work and the big game update, which released earlier this year, and hopefully you've been enjoying everything that was added to the game with that. Having spent like the last three and a half years on Sunday Rivals, I decided to take a break and prototype some ideas for a new game. And I was hopeful that the console port would go smoothly and could be finished before the end of 2023. Well, it's the end of 2023 now, so where's that console port, right? It's safe to say that things didn't go how I hoped, and uh, without getting too far into the weeds, the reality is that the amount of time and money it would take to get the console version of Sunday Rivals off the ground was much, much greater than I had anticipated. Things generally stalled out for me, and during that time, the landscape for football games continued to move forward. So I estimate the window of time for me to finish porting Sunday Rivals by myself is at least another 15 months of dedicated time, like if I start today. And again, that's, that's for just one console. That's not two and definitely not three. The idea of launching Sunday Rivals on a single console at some point in 2025 doesn't feel like a strong plan to me. So short of a publisher swooping in and offering me a really attractive, cost-effective, hands-off deal, I'm putting console development of Sunday Rivals on hold. Now I realize that's disappointing to hear, especially for folks who have been following the game since 2019 and hoping to be able to play it on their big screen. I had always hoped that consoles would be in reach because I know those players would love the game, but there are too many obstacles standing in the way to make that a reality at this time. I am not a 10 or a 5 or even a 2 person studio just cranking away on this game full time. This is still something I do in my spare time, in the hours before and after work, and these days that spare time is really limited. Now, if you own the game on Steam, there is a silver lining here, because PC development is technically unfrozen again. And while there isn't a ton of new things I can easily add to the game, there is some runway to strategically target certain areas in the future. Speaking of, 2024 should be interesting. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention over the last four years, it's fair to say that pretty much anything can happen between now and next December, but at the moment I'm still prototyping ideas for a new game, and we'll continue working on that in the near future. This probably isn't the right video to talk too much more about it, but if you're interested in what's next, keep an eye out for future videos. So that's a wrap for this year. I hope everyone has a great holiday season. Happy New Year, and as always, thanks for playing.